Wow, look at this rain today. This is what I woke up to. Well, I can't model any makes today, but I'm gonna start off with coffee and then I'll show you what I made in my sewing room. We have a new coffee to try. This Hills Brother Dark Satin Full Bean. Let's see how it is. Got my Sewing Keeps Me Sane mug today. Let's turn it on. Nice hot steam coming out. Ready. Hi everyone, welcome to So Lovely with Grace. If you're new here, I'm Grace. If you're returning, welcome back. Sewing keeps me sane. All the time. Oh, and so does a good cup of coffee. That Hills Brothers brand is great. A nice change. I like my eight o'clock coffee, but this is great. This is so rich and delicious. Thank you, Tom. Now, I have a lot for you today. Lots of material today. The first thing I want to talk about is my pattern haul. It's a mini pattern haul, a McCall's knit pattern haul. All of them call for knits. They're older, so I want to give you a heads up that up there that they're not new patterns. Um, doesn't seem like I can find new ones at these Joann's lately. They're always one or two months behind, but they're oldies but goodies, so I hope you stick around for those five. Um, also, I'm going to talk about this top I'm wearing, New Look 6656. I made it in a previous video, but a different view, different fabric. Hope you stick around for that. Also this week, I had a great time meeting up with some dear YouTube friends. In this platform, I've met some wonderful people, some fellow YouTubers, and we got together and shopped at Joann's and the Sewing Studio. So I'll show you what I got there. And finally, I won some fabric in a giveaway. Creativity by T, Talisha, she is such a sweetheart. She had a giveaway promoting Morex fabrics and I won. And I got my fabric uh, this week. So I'm gonna show you what I wanna sew up with that. So I hope you stay, watch through the video, enjoy the content and we have a great time together. So that's the plan for the video today. So let me start off with the pattern haul. As I mentioned earlier, I met up with some YouTubers and it was Carol from Sew so Carol and Deb from Deb's Way. And we met up, we first went to the sewing studio. I'll show you that a little later, but we also went to Joann's and that's where I got my patterns. And this first pattern I have is McCall 7047. Look at all that variety. It's labeled as easy, but when you see so many different views, it doesn't seem like it would be that easy, but it is. And what it is, it's a create your own. Like you just create your own design with all these pieces. So if you look at it here, we have a bodice, neckband, peplum, sleeve, skirt, in various lengths and you just put them all together any which way you want and it's a knit I was like I never had a pattern like this a create your own um, the notions are elastic there's no zippers either so this is great I love it I was thinking about this long glamorous gown and the one she's wearing here with a little peplum flounce isn't that gorgeous? All those views. And 
The suggestive fabrics are novelty knits, stretch lace, matte jersey, it has a lining, tree coat, and lightweight jersey for the lining. Other than that, no zipper, looks like an easy, I'm excited about it. So that's one of them. This next McCall's is 8348. The dress with the shrugs there. Look at those shrugs, the one she's wearing, and then this one has, it looks like it goes straight across. And let me see the line drawings on this one. Yeah, the various shrugs here and the two lengths in the dresses. Very doable, no notions, my kind of pattern. If you're in a hurry and you want to look glamorous, this is the pattern. Stretch knits such as jerseys, interlock, and cotton knits and sweater knits. I saw these, this pattern on Shalisa Soshi Designs channel and uh, Sewing Up Style. They both showed this pattern and that's where I got my idea. When I watch YouTube, I'm sure you guys have lists, I always write down some numbers and say, hey, someday I'll get this pattern and that's what I did. I absolutely love this top, this McCall's 8344 with the drawstrings with the models wearing and those sleeves. Now she has the regular looks like just long sleeves and then we have like these balloon sleeves with the elastic. Uh, that's pretty. I think I like view C but with the sleeves but what the models wearing with the drawstrings. And here's the line drawings. There you go. Pretty straightforward. Very unique. That's why I picked it up. The only notions are the drawstrings and the elastic. And it uh, calls for, of course, knits again, two-way stretch knits, such as jerseys, cotton knit, interlock, athletic knits. And that's pretty straightforward. It's labeled as an easy. Now, all these patterns I got are easy, but I didn't pick them because they're easy. I just, just liked them. Um, so that's kind of cool to have that. This next pattern I really love is this cardigan pattern. And the reason I picked it up, I mean, I have a lot that look like that, but I do not have anything that looks like this. A hoodie that's sleeveless with a drawstring waist. How unique is that design? That's why I picked it up. View A. Look how unique that is. View A. Are there any other patterns out there you've seen? I haven't. All the other views are great too, but I want View A. I just think that's uh, beautiful and you can see the back here uh, hopefully at the bottom and that's why I picked this one up it calls for again it's a knit so it says sweater knits double knit and sweatshirt fleece interesting I would never put sweatshirt on this one um, and it takes bias tape and cording for the drawstring so that's why I picked it up. This one's also labeled as an easy and I'm glad I got it. Now for this next pattern, I never even thought of getting it until I saw Diane from Silver Thread Sewing. She sewed it up, but she got hers at Walmart. This is McCall's 7975. Walmart carries this pattern, but it has a different envelope cover. I think it's like so simple. And then it shows how many yards for the pattern, which I really like. Uh, but I had to pick it up because she sewed it up and it was so cute. Here are the line drawings. Look at that. No notions, a little twist front. You got the flounce on the sleeve. I'm interested in view A, the sleeveless, or what is it, a little cap sleeve there with the twist front. Great for summer. And it's a simple again. It calls for moderate stretch knits such as cotton knits, jersey, interlock, and rib knits. I have all those in my collection. Those were the five McCall's patterns, all for knits, but I have a bonus pattern. Anytime I go into Joann's, if you've been watching my channel, I always pick up a new look pattern. Why? Why not? I love new look. They're always $2.99 or $3.99, and I like to pick, pick up a new look pattern at Joann's and I picked up this one 6577 look at that another knit pattern very easy uh, it has a top this is the one I'm interested in this view here with the cowl neck the little tiny flutter sleeve so feminine it has these mini dress here and this looks like another top 
with the long sleeves. How cute. And this calls for stretch knits, jersey, power mesh, stretch lace, stretch velvet, and a quarter inch wide elastic. I have a lot of knits, so I think anything would apply for that. And let me show you the line drawings here. Look at that with the cow neck, how unique. And uh, that's it, no notions, except for the quarter inch wide elastic. Where would I put that? Oh, it looks like there's some ruching in view C. Uh, let's see, where is that? On the sides here, you see the ruching? Very nice. I could even put the ruching in view B. I think I will. Make the top with the flutter sleeves, the cowl neck, and some ruching. How exciting would that be? So that's it for the pattern haul. Now I'm going to talk about the top I made. I previously made this pattern up. It's New Look 6656. I think it was a couple of weeks ago. I made what she's wearing with an open back. Uh, that would be View A. This is an open back here. But for what I'm wearing now, I have the full zip back that I'm going to show you. So I made what she's wearing, but the back is a full zip back. The previous one I made, and I modeled it in another video, so it has this gathering in the front with the peplum and these flutter sleeves, the open back here uh, with the button and the invisible zipper here, and it's like an inch or two from the bottom. And what I did with the hem is I folded it over, surged it, and then I hand stitched the hem all the way around. So I pretty much did the same thing with this top that I'm wearing. It's identical except the back is not open. I did the full zip, full zipper all the way up and it goes down to about, a, about two inches from the bottom. And I also did the hem. I'll show you the hem here. What I did was I surged it and then I hand stitched the hem all the way around. So it gives it a clean little finish there. And uh, this is the top. Very cute. And I'm really happy with it. It's a great pattern. This fabric I got at Fashion Fabrics, uh, Fashion Fabrics Club. It's like a crepe de chine, very flowy and light. It's finished with a neckband here, a pattern piece, okay, the flutter sleeves, the exact same design. And I just love this pattern. That's why I made it again. New Look 6656 is a wonderful top for the summer. Very cute, and I highly recommend it. Also, check out Creativity by T. Talisha did a video. She inspired me to make it. That's where I got my idea from. So check out her video and mine a couple of weeks ago with the green open back top and I talk more about the pattern. Now I want to talk about my visit with my sewing YouTuber friends, So Carol and Deb's Way. We had a great time. We met up in Maitland, Florida at the sewing studio. Let me show you what I got there. This was a meeting that I didn't want to miss. I was so thrilled to see Deb from Deb's Way and Carol from So Carol. Deb lives locally down there near the sewing studio, but Carol, she's from across the pond in the UK, so it was a great opportunity, and I didn't want to miss it, and I was so glad we met up. We had a wonderful day, and we started off at the sewing studio, and I picked up this fabric, this knit fabric, now that I have a lot of knit patterns. Look at this gorgeous floral. It's like a cotton ITY knit. I love all the colors and the flowers in this. Oh my goodness. And when I saw this, they said it just came in. It was a brand new uh, delivery they had. Look at the stretch. Look at that. Gorgeous. I fell in love with it immediately and I had to pick it up. And what I love about it was only $7.47 a yard. I got two and a half yards. I have a couple of patterns I have in my mind to make with it. This, yeah, here's the slip. Sewing Studio, $7.47 a yard, two and a half yards. So 
747, wow, that's a great deal. And I thought of this pattern. The reason I thought of it was So Carol was wearing this dress. She made it. New Look 6650, it's been in my stash for a year. She was wearing this dress at our meetup, the one with the tie in the front. And I thought for that pattern with the little cap sleeves, the tie in the front, I thought it'd be great. So that's one option. The second pattern I'm thinking about is more of a beachy look, which is appropriate. And I love this with the racer back and the slits on the side. It's a new look, 6210. And I thought of this one. I just thought this would look good. I'm behind. I need to do a sew along for this. I apologize. I haven't done it. So I'm thinking maybe that dress. But I'm not sure. Out of these two, I don't know. So I got to decide there. But isn't that gorgeous fabric? Isn't it? It's just so beautiful. I love it. Of course, after we looked at fabric, we were looking at some machines. And I saw an embroidery machine that I want. The Baby Lock Meridian 2 my dream machine but we'll see what happens because I've had my baby lock spirit since 2012 I think I'm due for an upgrade what do you think so after we spent a good amount of time at the sewing studio we went to Joann's I picked up my patterns that you just saw but I didn't pick up any fabric but while we were at the cutting board and near the patterns they're all together there they had some counter books and I got this counter book for free. I got this McCall's. It's uh, volume four, it says 2023. So it's an old one, but I was so shocked because normally at Joann's they don't give away their old counter books. They throw them out, but hey, I'm up for it. I'll take it. I love looking through these. These are wonderful. I always love looking at these counter books. But just so you know, if you know, at Hobby Lobby, if you go to their clearance area, they usually sell their counter books. Back in the day, I used to pick them up for two bucks each, four bucks. Uh, at my local Hobby Lobby, they're $10, and I will not pay $10 for an old counter book unless I really want it. But just so you know, check out Hobby Lobby's clearance if you're interested in picking up one of these. Of course, after all that sewing shopping, we were hungry. So we met up with our hubbies at Bahama Breeze. Bahama Breeze, it's a chain restaurant, but I'm shocked at how good it is. And so we went there and we exchanged gifts. And Deb got me a little goodie bag. How pretty. Look at that beautiful roses on this bag. And the handle. I love it. Deb is so thoughtful. She got me this notepad with a pen. I absolutely love it. I write lists all the time. I'm not one for typing in my phone. I like paper and pen. And in my sewing room, this is going to get a lot of use. Thank you so much, Deb, to do today. Very nice. More things in here. And she knows I love my coffee. So she got me this coaster. A day spent sewing is a very good day. How beautiful is that? Thank you so much put my coffee pop, coffee cups on that one. I also got these labels and it says here with love in every thread with love in every thread. So of course if I make a gift, a bag, a garment, anything I can sew this in and just show people I love them when I make them something. And the last thing she gave me which I really needed by coincidence is a tape measure, a new tape measure Mine, you know how this gets hot by the iron, it melted and it's not accurate anymore. And look at this beautiful, what is it, uh, upside down here, Up. it's a floral water can and uh, the back is all floral, absolutely beautiful, very thoughtful. Thank you Deb. Carol also showed up with a gift bag. Look at this bag, she made like these Easter rabbits with the carrots. She sewed up this little gift bag. Thank you, Carol, it's so thoughtful, so sweet. And she wrapped all the items in this heart tissue paper. It's like springy colors, all the little hearts. How sweet is that? I love it. And her gifts were tea themed. 
She's from the UK. They drink tea more than coffee. I love tea too. I drink it. She gave me this tea bag. West Country Original Blend. And she also gave me this tea. Oh, actually, it's a jotter block. It's like a post-it note, I suppose. Um, there's 400 sheets in here. Look at that. Put that next to my sewing machine. And she made a little cozy for it. This is what I love. Look at the fabric she picked out. Isn't that beautiful? It has like cake and cookies. And then the outside is tea, tea kettles. So, and she made these little buttons. I love the detail. So, and it's like custom made for this. It just fits in here perfectly. I love it. Thank you, Carol. What a great gift. And she also gave me a pen, just like Deb. Deb gave me a pen, and she gave me a pen so I can use with the, uh, the notes here. Very nice. She also put in this jasmine scented, jasmine tuberose scented sachet. Very nice. Very fragrant. Beautiful. And finally, look at this, chocolate. Wow, I love chocolate. Solid milk chocolate shapes like, looks like a tea kettle with some teacups. Let me pull it out here if I can, because it's a little challenging to open. Let's see if I can get it up. Oh wow, how cute. I don't want them to fall out, but there's the little cups of chocolate. And there's the kettle. Isn't that sweet? I'll save that. Thank you so much, Carol. It was such a joy to see you here. And you and Deb, we had a great time. We went and ate at Bahama Breeze. We had a wonderful lunch and shopping, eating, wonderful. Now I want to talk about the fabric I won at Creativity by Tees giveaway. She was promoting Morex Fabrics, another online fabric store. And she had, I think, three or four fabrics and we could pick one and I entered and I won. I'm so excited. So I just got it a couple of days ago. I got this linen fabric that I chose because I wanted the yellow. Look how pretty that is. It's a linen. I think it's beautiful. It has like cream and off-white and yellow and it's perfect for spring and summer. I love it. And thank you, Talisha. And she also added some other goodies. Well, first of all, let me show you the card she put in there. Thanks a bunch. Oh, yeah, I support you all the way, Talisha. I love your channel. And she writes, Grace, thank you so much for participating in my giveaway and for being so supportive. Please enjoy these gifts, and I know your dress will be amazing. I appreciate you. Yeah, I told her I want to make a dress with that linen, and I have a pattern that I want to show you. Um, but let me show you what else she packed in here. Look at this. She even gave me thread. She didn't have to, but she did. And she gave me the two yellows that are in that fabric and this little white one, too. Thank you, Talisha. She also added fat quarters. How cute. I got three fat quarters. The red polka dot, the animal print, and look at these sunflowers. I absolutely love them. She is so generous. Please go to her channel. Please subscribe. Give her a thumbs up and you can let her know I sent you there. So let me show you the pattern that I want to make the dress with this linen. I'm thinking of Vogue 9021. I want to make what she's wearing, the red dress, maybe a little longer. The two views are identical. It's just the length that's different. This is rated as a very easy. Um, the only thing it has is a 22 inch zipper. So from the line drawings, we have a bodice with two darts and a skirt with darts. And it looks like the darts are in the front and the back. So, and then you have a, a zipper. That's it. I think it'll be great. I don't, I don't see a problem with it. So that, be sure to check out an upcoming video with that dress because I'm going to make this uh, dress using that linen fabric. So thank you very much, Talisha. So that's the video for this week. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and fun, but most of all, I hope you were so inspired.